Now, the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security issuing a warning for state and local governments of possible lone wolf terror attacks here at home. And this, of course, the day after the Senate Democrats released a report outlining uh, interrogation techniques used by the CIA on suspected terrorists. Uh, uh, concerned Veterans for America CEO Pete Hexeth is with us. And, uh, you know, Pete, the administration even acknowledged before these uh, documents were released the dangers that would follow. And yet they were. So tell us now what we're looking at. Well, it's an irresponsible and reckless action while we are still in the middle of a shooting war facing new manifestations of the very people that were captured because of these CIA programs. There's now new, new manifestations in folks like ISIS who have declared over Twitter and social media their desire to find veterans and military members here in the United States and slaughter them where they find them. This only adds fuel and logs to that fire. Uh, and, and, and there's no reason why in the middle of this, what is, which is a long-term ideological war, we give fodder to our enemies about things we already knew and already have changed uh, that, frankly, though, when you look into the, the other reports and other assessments, went a long way in helping us find those responsible for the attacks of 9-11 and those after that. So this is a cherry-picked, politicized report that's going to do a lot of damage to our image and to those trying to carry our national security policy right now. You know, Pete, uh, you know, I, I guess everyone probably has already decided where they come down on this politically, but from, from a logical point of view, why... Yeah, can you help us understand, and now, of course, we heard about, you know, the, all the Marines that had to go on, on high alert around the world, particularly in embassies around the world. But here at home, if something happens and it's associated with this, if some, some sympathizer is reading the newspaper this morning and goes out there and does, uh, commits an atrocity, not unlike what we saw in Canada recently, who should we hold responsible? <laughs> you should hold uh, folks who have politicized this very process. You know, this is how cultures commit suicide. This is Western, uh, Western guilt, the manifestation of a blame America first crowd that wants to look at ourselves and say, how dare we do these things? If you look into this report, I will defend 99.9% .9 of what our CIA officials did to get the actionable intelligence they needed to break these guys down, to find out what their networks were like and where they were going. And ultimately, these threads are always, they're, they're never straight lines. They're dotted lines nodes of information led back to critical information we used to get folks like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the mastermind of 9-11, who then unpacked how Al-Qaeda works. To politicize our intelligence, to play games with it, to craft narratives about the Bush administration and the folks that they don't like, is to endanger people in harm's way, and that's who we should blame for. Dianne Feinstein, a White House that's willing to release it, these types of reports are, are dangerous and undermine right. the very security of our men and women. I know, Pete. Let's just uh, pray that nothing happens because of this. I thought it was irresponsible to uh, although some say we live in a free society and we, of the people we should know, uh, you know what? It could have come at a different time. Thank you very much, Pete. In Appreciate a different it. manner. Absolutely. Thank you, Charles. Uh, by the